Hi, in this video, I'm gonna go over exercise 15k. Um, if I have enough time, I will go over both question number one and question number two. But before we do that, I want to review you guys on um, a little bit on normal distribution and standard normal distribution. Okay, so let's get started. Now, let's say today I take the height, I collect all the seniors at the school, um, I collect their height, and I put it down on my, just record it, record down every everyone's height, and I will be able to get the mean and the standard deviation with my GDC. Uh, if you don't remember how to do that, um, here is a quick review. So what we can do is we can go to stat, and then we can go to the edit list, and then we can type in, so the first student is 158, second student is 180, third student is 175, and then kind of just put everyone's height in there, right? Um, and then just keep on doing that. And then eventually I will, maybe for L2, maybe I'll have two students um, with the height of 158, uh, only one student with 180, maybe three students with 175, one student with 172, so on and so forth. So my L1 is the height, and my L2 is kind of the frequency. And then after, so uh, we should have a lot more data here. And if you go to stat, you go to calc, since height is the only variable, right, we only have one, one variable, so going to go to one bar stats, so my list, which means my height, my frequency is my L2, so second stat, which means the list, and the L2, and calculate, <coughs> my mean is 170, and my standard deviation is 8.1, um, 8 8.2, approximately 8.2. Okay, so we did this in chapter 8, descriptive statistics. I hope you guys still remember the, the calculator skills, alright? So now let's say today I collected all the data and my mean turns out to be 165 and my standard deviation uh, turns out to be 4. Okay, so let's put that down. So on my normal distribution graph, uh, my bell curve, this is my random variable x, my mean is 165. Okay, so my standard deviation is 4cm, which means um, this is going to be 160. 169, correct? So 165 plus 4. This is one standard deviation above. This is 161. That is one standard deviation below. And let's say today I go another standard deviation above. So 169 plus 4. That gives us 173. And let's go two standard deviation below the mean. I will get 157. So, um, by now, we should know that the special thing about normal distribution is if we're looking at, um, if we're looking at the probability between this 161 to 169, in other words, one standard, one standard deviation below, one standard deviation above, that's going to give me this will be approximately 68% of the population, right? And if I expand this, so let's say today I expand, say, from 157 all the way up to 173. So this whole part, the part I'm shading right now, um, that will be approximately 95%, 95% of the population. Okay, and of course we're gonna have people who are very tall, uh, who are kind of taller than the normal, so they will be either very very tall, or a little bit shorter, right? So if you are somewhere around 180, you are considered very tall, and we won't expect too many students to fall under that category. Or the same thing here, if you are we won't expect too many students who are smaller, shorter than 157 cm. So this is the brief idea of um, kind of how is the normal distribution 
useful. All right. But now this in this video, I'm gonna what I'm focusing on is the relationship between your normal distribution and the standard normal distribution. So here, uh, my random variable x represents height, and as you can see here, my mean is 165, standard deviation is 4, and that's how I get this one standard deviation above, one standard deviation below. So plus 4 gives me that, minus 4 gives me that. And when from 169 you plus 4 again, that gives you 173. From 161 you minus 4, that gives you 157. So let's say today, uh, I'm going to change the color, let's use green. Let's say today we have a student, uh, let's say it's Mike. Mike is one, uh, let's say 180. So 180 is going to be somewhere here. Uh, that's going to be 180. So let me extend this bell curve a little bit more. So 180 is here. Now, how do I know how many standard deviations above or below? So how many standard deviations above or below is Mike? So if when, when we look at just a normal when we look at a normal distribution bell curve, um, it's very hard for us to know if it's not that easy for us to know how many standard deviations above or below the mean. But we, we, we kind of we kind of get this idea of okay 180 is quite tall, but the definition of quite tall or not that 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 is based on your personal knowledge. So let's say today if we go to say a Europe, maybe Germ Germany or uh, Netherlands, where the average height, the mean, is a lot taller, right? So if you look at 180, let's say today you conduct this research on height, and you show this 180 to the to the Europeans, they wouldn't consider that as very tall. They will consider that okay. They will consider that height 180 to be okay. It's not short, but it's not too tall. Whereas in an Asian society, 180 is considered pretty tall already. So there is sort of this mm, miscommunication when it comes to normal distribution. So in other words, let's try to remove the context, right? Let's try to remove the context and let's see how we can uh, present the exact same information without the context of, in this case, height. And that's when the standard normal distribution comes in handy. Okay, so for standard normal distribution, your mean, your mean has to be, your mean has to be zero, and your standard deviation has to be one. And I'm sure you guys have came across this equation where you um you are when when you are when you're converting stuff from normal distribution to standard normal distribution, you have to do this right x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So let's do that. So let's try to convert 169. Uh, we already know that, um, we already know that the mean is still going to be here. The 169 here, let me just extend the graphs. <coughs> okay, so um, just now we said in the previous scenario for the normal distribution, we know this is one standard deviation above, so this is going to be one. And this is my mean. My mean is going to be zero. This is one standard deviation above. This is one standard deviation below. This is two standard deviation above, two standard deviation below. Okay? Um, so we let's try to convert this 180. So this 180, 180 over here, so 180 minus 165 divided by standard deviation is 4 and if you put that in your calculator you'll get 3.75 alright so what does that mean so if you think about it this means so if this is 1 this is 2 3 is going to be here and the 1.180 180 in the normal distribution the, in the normal distribution graph that is gonna be 3.75 it is 3.75 standard deviation above the mean 
which means that is very, very, very um, outstanding. In other words, that is very tall. Okay? So, um, regardless of your knowledge in, in height, so whether you're a Westerner, a European, or Asian, by saying that my height is 3.75 standard deviation above the mean, that says compared to uh, the local people, you are very, very tall. Okay? So standard normal distribution helps everybody to understand how is the data that we're looking at, which is the 180, how is, or Mike in this case, the data we're looking at, compare that to the mean um, or the general population. So in this case, the, this Mike, Mike is 3.75 above the stand, above the mean, which means Mike is very, very tall compared to the mean. I hope this makes sense, okay? If not, please come talk to me. Because we do have to know the difference between normal distribution and a standard normal distribution. Um, and a lot of times, the standard normal distribution um, helps us to explain, to, to deliver the message that we're trying to say without um, the confusion of context. Okay? I don't think I have time to go over the two examples in this video. Um, so I will see you guys in the next video. Please make sure you understand the difference. If not, come talk to me. Alright, see you guys.